Okay, this is now the five minute tarot for the 8th of July 2017. And this is, um, it, it relates back to what, to the fact that the hanged man fell out with Chad and Julie got the seven of pentacles. So I was wondering about, and then yesterday I mentioned about 12 being the galaxy and seven being the earth. And I was thinking about that and then I had this moment of of wondering and I, I haven't really thought about it so that you can, rather than give you a finished idea or a complete thought, um, I, I may, I'm going to say something and I may end up not knowing what more to say, but I'm just going to, going to kind of ramble on. Okay, so the thing is, with the hanged man, you have a vertical piece of wood and there's somebody hanging from it upside down, right? And then in the seven of pentacles, you've got a vertical piece of wood, in this case, a walking stick, and there's somebody, instead of hanging from it, they're parallel with it, they're leaning against it, but they're upright. So you get two, two people, one is upside down, one is standing upright, and you've got the wood in the background is holding the hanged man. The wood, the walking stick in the Seven of Pentacles is supporting the person leaning against the walking stick. Okay, so we've got that. And what, so Chad mentioned about with the hanged man, I've got thinking to do because I imagine because the head in the hanged man is illuminated. So the head, which is the center of thinking and so on, um, is illuminate is is emphasized in the hanged man. And from the attitude of the person in the Seven of Pentacles, um, it it looks like he's got some thinking to do as well, because we've got the coin at the feet, but we've got the six other coins. So my question is, what's the difference between the thinking of the hanged man? and the thinking of the person in the Seven of Pentacles. And it's a bit like that 12 being the galaxy and 7 being the earth. With the hanged man, the thinking is more big picture because it's a galaxy that contains other uh, ecosystems or other complete experiences. But the fact that in the hanged man, the person is upside down, there's not a lot you can do about it. It's as if with the, with the hanged man, because the, the person's upside down, um, it's like the galaxy is in control, the galaxy is in charge. And if the galaxy has decided you're going to fall off a ladder today, then you're going to fall off a ladder today and there's not a lot you can do about it. Because the big picture has decided what you're going to do, or the big picture is going to operate and it's going to have its way. And all you can do is cooperate with it. You can't change it. You can't adjust it. Um, you can't tell it to stop. Um, okay, so with the hanged man, you're thinking, um, is you 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 can think, but maybe with a hanged man you can understand, but you can't really create and decide what is going to happen next or what's going to happen or how it's going to develop. Or with the thinking with the hanged man, you can understand and see what your place is or what makes sense or if this happens, then this has to happen. And you can understand what the big picture is, what the overall theme is. Whereas with the seven of batons, because the person is standing upright and leaning on the staff, then the thinking that belongs with the seven of pentacles, you've actually got some choice. You can, you, you can make decisions that can have an impact. You've got freedom to decide and freedom to choose what it is that you want to choose, what it is that you want to have. And you're not limited and not suspended the way the hanged man is. There are similarities between them. 
because seven is obviously three and four. Seven is one and six and two and five. It's obviously three and four. And 12 for the hanged man is always also three and four. But with, with the seven of pentacles or the chariot card, which is number seven, is three plus four. It's a triangle plus a square. Whereas with the hanged man for 12, it's three times four, which even though you've got the same basic starting point, the same basic ingredients, what you do with the ingredients in the chariot, you add them and you get something bigger and better. But with the hanged man, you multiply them and you get something that is orders of magnitude greater. So the background, uh, there's similarities because of that vertical piece of wood in the hanged man and the and the um, the seven of pentacles. But the human behavior or the human possibilities with the hanged man, they're quite limited. With the seven of batons, probably you can do whatever you want. There's freedom and uh, uh, choice with the seven of pentacles that doesn't exist for the hanged man. Okay, I hope that made sense. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.